Maybe one day the spring will come, where the people leave their homes after a long winter to see the sun, to see as though they had forgotten what it looked like, forgotten the smells of spring, the flowers, the Christmas in the air. Yes, one day they will leave their houses after this long winter, almost 20 years now, and they will have their spring and the land will be filled with music, with jazz, the very sound of freedom. Hello, my name is uh, Justin McGregor. I'm currently living in Dublin, Ireland, and I'm one of the writers in residence for UNESCO Prague City of Literature 2019. I'm a playwright and a filmmaker. During my residency, I was here for the November, December residency. Um, I happened to be here for November uh, of 2019, which is the 30th anniversary of the Velvet Revolution. Uh, and I was writing a play about my father meeting uh, Václav Havel in 1964 when he was touring a play here with the Royal Shakespeare Company. And Havel had his first play, The Garden Party, um, at a theatre. And my father went and, and saw it. And they became uh, friends who corresponded for many years uh, afterwards. So I've written almost uh, the whole first draft um, of that. Uh, I also have a, a play on in February and I was doing some rewrites for that and I went back to do some rewrites of a long neglected um, novel that I come back to every now and then so it's a very very fruitful time here. Being in Prague on the 30th anniversary of the Velvet Revolution was uh, amazing. There were exhibits all over, outdoor photo exhibits. There was a Havel for President uh, 1989 exhibit uh, at the museum. So it was great to see um, all these photos, uh, many of which I'd never uh, seen before. Um, and I managed to go to the, the Václav Havel Library where they gave me access to some of their, the, their texts. Um, as well as some movies that showed Havel um, working as a dramaturg in, uh, in, in the 60s um, at the Theatre on the Balustrade. Uh, so that was all really, really amazing. Uh, and then uh, I managed to meet some people who knew Havel from the 60s as well, who uh, gave me some stories and some insights into the time uh, and their life uh, in that period up to Velvet Revolution and afterwards. Uh, so again, it was just such an ex exciting place to be, especially working on something that was uh, set and based uh, in Prague. I really loved just riding the trams, to be honest, uh, and seeing as much of the city as I could. Uh, I loved being up at uh, Prague Castle uh, and some of the views from up there around the, the monastery, certainly up and behind it. Uh, but just sort of walking the old, the old streets, just being in the city, uh, the bridges as well, being on the Charles Bridge, but all the other bridges, uh, and just exploring the kind of nooks and crannies away from the tourist centre. The tourist centre was very crowded, um, and I really enjoyed getting to see that other that other side of Prague. And uh, but yeah, Prague Castle and the view back down, and all the exhibits at the castle as well was really fantastic. Because I was doing the November-December residency, I, I was here for six weeks and not two months. I already regret that, though I had to come, as I said, in November for the anniversary of the Velvet Revolution. Um, I, I'm already going to miss it. I leave uh, in, in two days' time. Uh, it's been so uh, uh, stimulating and inspiring for me. Um, I'll, I'll definitely be back. I've been talking to the to have a library about having um, uh, my play premiere there uh, that, uh, that I've been writing during the residency. So um, I'll definitely, definitely be back. Uh, to future residents, you know, do take advantage of the amazing resource of the people who work um, at uh, the City of Literature. Uh, they got me in touch with people who really helped me with my writing. Um, but they even did things like recommend restaurants, show me how the tram system worked. And it was just great because it made me feel at home uh, right away. I think by the second day, I felt like I lived in Prague for, for months, if not years. Uh, and I think that was because of uh, the staff and the way they, they interacted. Uh, with me. I think normally as writers we like to think we're going to go off and do it all on our own and not talk to anybody uh, and I think that would be a mistake because it is such a great uh, resource. Um, also I think if you're coming, if you do have something that has any you know relationship with Prague, it's just such an important thing I think to come uh, and walk the streets of, of the city that you're writing about. So uh, I, I would apply again and I encourage anyone to, to apply who's even considering it. <laughs>